everybody. I know you're used to seeing the Occupy videos today, or usually, but uh, today I decided to take a little bit of a break from filming. Um, you know, after 22 days of filming this non-stop every single day and so on and so forth, today I decided to take a step back from filming and, uh, you know, focus on the issues at hand and focus on, you know, getting into the groups and making decisions and planning stuff. Um, so I'll just give you a brief recap of what today was like. Um, this morning at 11 o'clock I wasn't able to get there because I was up all night editing and I wasn't able to get up in time, but 11 o'clock this morning we had the Veterans Association uh, come down to Parade Square and have a rally on behalf of the soldiers who are returning from Afghanistan and Iraq uh, who are injured and haven't been uh, supported by the government once they've been uh, once they've came back to the country. Um, those are mostly involving the injured soldiers, the ones that have developed uh, mental instabilities and so on and so forth. And they basically just took the square this morning to do a, a protest slash rally uh, in regards to how they feel they're being mistreated. Later on the day we had a Solidarity Halifax, which is a march. From my understanding, it's the third annual one. I'm not entirely sure on what the topics they were marching on or anything like that because I didn't really, I wasn't really focused on it because uh, I had a lot going on. But uh, there is a Facebook group for it and all that. If you guys wanted to look into that, you can. And then today was basically just uh, we spent some time in the media group. We had a little bit of a meeting trying to set up, you know, what we want to do, what we want to accomplish uh, what media should be involved in and uh, we also made a pr proposal today at the General Assembly uh, to get our Wi-Fi unit replaced since somebody knocked it into a puddle uh, when we had that big rain and windstorm last week so we had lost our Wi-Fi that's why I haven't been really active in regards to the live stream and posting and all that sort of stuff because I simply don't have internet access when I'm downtown uh, so it got approved today that we can spend $250 plus tax on a new uh, Wi-Fi unit. So hopefully in the next few days we'll get that set up and we'll be back online and be able to give up-to-date posts and up-to-date uh, uh, information and all that sort of stuff and hopefully get the live stream back on track. Uh, we have a couple cameras coming in that will help with the live stream, uh, hopefully, if we can get it wired up properly. Uh, but we're looking at having a stationary camera uh, that can be used when I'm not there or somebody else is with a laptop isn't there to do the live stream firsthand. Uh, so hopefully that will get working up. Uh, also at the General Assembly tonight, we basically form, uh, finalized our statement to the public uh, in regards to what we want, what we hope to accomplish, so on and so forth, what we disagree with and all that sort of stuff. Kind of like a... Uh, official press release from Occupy Nova Scotia similar to what Occupy Wall Street did after a couple of weeks of being in the protest. Um, other than that, there wasn't a whole lot going on. We discussed the dance party and uh, the shenanigans that happened afterwards and during in regards to alcohol and drugs and how people simply just handled having the police around and how they uh, you know, just were being disrespectful and so on and so forth. And, putting other people at risk because they simply just don't like the police and you know it, it got a little hairy there for a little while I, I left um, reasonably early a little bit after the video ended in regards to the cops shutting everything down uh, you know drunk people and dancing and when somebody comes and stops their fun you know they don't like it so there was a few idiots in the crowd who decided to try to take on the police. I, uh, I took it upon myself to try to referee the situation and uh, you know try to get people to calm down and also get the police to calm down as well. Um, you know, I was having to tell people, you know, shut up, back off, give the police their space. You know, you don't get in their face, don't give them an excuse to fucking hit you, don't give them an excuse to start pepper spraying people, just don't give them any type of excuse. And then on the flip side of that, I had to regulate the police as well from doing such things. Uh, you know, taking aggressive stances with people and so on and so forth. And, you know, telling them, you know, you've made your point. Now you need to back off. 
you know, these people aren't being aggressive and you're taking aggressive stances and there's no need for it, you need to calm down as well as these other people. So you may be police officers, but we're here peacefully. There are some people who are being aggressive, but there's no need for you to be taking those types of aggressive stances. Um, <laughs> police didn't like, they didn't like me last night, but uh, you know, I was basically just laying it out as it was, you know, there's no, there's no need for the bullshit, there's no need for all that type of stuff. So we covered that in the General Assembly tonight. Uh, it was a uh, agenda topic that I put on there myself uh, simply because I felt that it needed to be addressed. And we have guidelines in place in regards to drugs and alcohol and, you know, they simply were disregarded last night. Um, so, in regards to the dance parties, I know it makes us look really bad, it gives us a bad image. Um, and it is being discussed as to the frequencies of these dance parties and what they're for and what they're... Uh, what the motivation behind them are. It originally was made up as a fundraiser and a way to let loose, but uh, from what I saw the la uh, last night, things got a little out of hand and people are getting a little too used to it. So um, we're looking at possibly not making those as often, maybe once a month or something like that, um, to try to limit that. <laughs> limit all that kind of craziness. Also, we have a lot of interesting things coming up. We have our uh, cleanup rally tomorrow uh, to help us clean up the square. I mentioned a few days ago it's pretty much a rally to get people to come down and help us clean up our own shit. Um, some people didn't like me saying that, but you know, that's what it is. I'm not gonna fucking sugarcoat it. Um, and uh, so that, that's tomorrow. That'll f probably take a few hours, and it, we might be able to get the riffraff and the, the lazy asses involved in doing that. But every time I've personally have asked them to clean up after themselves, they've told me to go fuck myself. So that's usually why when, when I say I've had to clean up after them, it's because I've gotten sick and tired of the fucking people telling me to screw off and shit like that. When, and then I just go in and start clearing house. Uh, a few days ago, I went in there and I basically did a mic check and for those who don't know a mic check is a way to use a microphone but we call it the people's microphone because you say something and then everybody repeats it so that it's not uh, not uh, construed in any way and everybody gets the point across so I did a mic check the other day and I pretty much said if anybody lives in this area and you don't want your shit thrown out you better get the fuck over here and get it now because I'm throwing all this crap out <laughs> and I cleared house. I cleaned that fucking place like it was nobody's business. Um, but tomorrow, like we, like I said, we have the cleanup, and then we're gonna start getting ready for our move to Victoria Park. Um, there is a little bit of controversy around being at Victoria Park simply because the mayor's office um, decided to uh, put up no camping allowed signs, and then when the mayor was, uh, you know, asked about it. He said he had nothing to do with it and ordered them not to put them up. However, there are time limitations on when people apparently can be in the park, which is something that a lot of lawmakers down in the states right now are being coerced to do by those private companies that own those parks because they don't want people camping out in them. So they're trying to set into bylaws certain times that people can be allowed in the parks and that way they then they can go in and clear people out and do their fucking rowdy shit and harm people and shoot people and so on and so forth. Um, so we might have that to contend with, but all in all it looks like it's going to be a pretty peaceful move and then we'll be back on the 12th, uh, back down to Parade Square um, in full force. And another reason why this move is important is there's a bunch of people who are taking it upon themselves to fight in their own way and stay and completely disregarding the the uh, Holocaust uh, Memorial Day and the Remembrance Day and acting upon them on their own separate from the group and I got a feeling it might end up badly for them uh, because once they separate themselves from the protests then they are no longer uh, protesting for something and the police have probably pro police probably feel like they can go in and just clear them out which I don't think would be a very just decision seeming they've left us alone to do it I don't see why they would go in and do it to them but I can see it happening um, so the next few days are going to be a little hectic it's getting really cold outside today or getting really cold outside period it was I think like minus four today it was snowing a little bit um, but we have that big mod tent set up now 
Uh, so we had a little bit of a, we had a little space heater put in there today, and we had our meetings and our general assembly in there today. Uh, so people were able to stay warm during the meetings and all that. So that was really nice. But that bot tent is going to be used for housing people uh, right now because we are moving. We don't want to get everybody set up in there and then just you know move them. Uh, so for the time being, we're just using it for meetings and so on and so forth. Um, oh, there's a lot of stuff going on, a lot of things, um, a lot of proposals. Uh, someone has proposed an incentive program for the for the community, um, kind of like a timeshare economy, where you know if you're there for a certain amount of hours, you write in how many hours you have put in, and then there would be a list of who contributes and so on and so forth and then they would get special treatment over other people and so on uh, for those who don't get involved but there's a lot of controversy involved in that I personally don't agree with it as much as I don't like people not taking part it is not for us to decide what they can and cannot get in depends in de depending upon what they need um, it is not our it's not our it's it's not our right to decide what people need people if people need a sleeping bag they should get a sleeping bag just because somebody else has been going around helping out and stuff like that doesn't mean that they have more of a right to that than anyone else. Um, so there, there, it has been a pretty heated discussion over the last three days and quite frankly I don't agree with it whatsoever. Um, as soon as I hear incentive programs I have fucking red flags going off all over the place because as far as I have been able to tell through learning history and human nature on a small scale, I can understand it being beneficial, but we're, we need to, we're, we're trying to recreate a society, and to do that, we need to be thinking on a large scale. When you have an incentive program on a large scale, all that does is breed greed, and it's inherent in human nature, and when you have an incentive program set up for something like that, people will take advantage of it in order to get ahead of other people and that's just not not a proper way to do things in my opinion um, so the discussions are getting heated people are starting to get fired up um, especially and especially with all the discussions going around starting with politics and the veterans and remembrance day and the the rights that people fought for and so on and so forth we're going to have a lot of heated discussions and heated debates over the next few days hopefully i'll be able to catch most of it so that's it for today. Sorry for my uh, little delay or day off from uh, doing the Occupy videos. Well, this is still an Occupy video in my in my sense, but uh, you know I need I need to kind of separate myself from doing that today because uh, I personally was getting really stressed out and really overwhelmed with everything. So this was kind of a way for myself also to kind of take a step back because a lot of people don't realize that. You know, it's stressful enough being down there, stressful enough being involved. But so for someone like me who films it, I have to come home and re-watch it and edit it and, and go over and over and over and over again 10, 15 times the day's events. So I get just that much more stress and overwhelmness involved onto me uh, just from sitting here going over it time and time again. <laughs> so this was a nice break for me be back tomorrow uh, hopefully with the rallies and everything like that if I can get this editing done in time get up nice and early get a full days in so hope you guys are enjoying the videos hope you guys are involved in the Occupy movement because it involves you guys uh, anybody who's ever suffered anybody who's ever been on the streets anybody who's ever lost their jobs or felt oppressed and so on and so forth you know these these this is your time this is your moment this is for when you need to get out and fight uh, because I don't believe we're gonna have another chance for this peacefully so that'd be it for me for today. I'll see you guys back tomorrow. Hope you guys had a good day. Stay strong, stay wise, stay warm, live free. Peace.